by the Cavaliers. Still with overtime. That's a three. Our play. Mark Quinlan down. Gets to his spot. They did in the first round. Delavadova puts it in. Matt Delavadova once again. Nicely on the spin. James kicks it out. Delavadova for three. Bang! LeBron James has got to get aggressive here. Delavadova and one. Count it and a foul. Matthew Delavadova knocked down. Banks it in. I would have never thought in this type of a game he could be this good. We are seeing the emergence of one of the more improbable playoff heroes in recent postseason history. There he is. That's how Aussie, the 6'3 guard out of St. Mary's that many believed had no right being there, who had to fight and claw onto a Cleveland Cavaliers roster representing our nation on the world's biggest basketball stage. This is the story of a Victorian named Matthew Delavadova whose continued dedication and perseverance garnered the admiration of NBA fans globally. Born and raised in Maryborough, Victoria, Delvadova is a sixth generation Italian-Australian that grew up in a sporting household. By the age of four, he had begun playing basketball in the Maryborough region, whilst also participating in tennis, soccer and Australian rules football throughout his youth. Delhi represented Victoria at a state level in basketball, playing alongside AFL star Scott Pendlebury before he moved to the Australian Institute of Sport following the footsteps of Paddy Mills and Joe Ingalls. His talent was clear at a young age, as he was ranked by ESPN as one of Australia's top prospects and a lock for D1 college competition in the USA. His talent had already been recognised at a national level, as he was selected for the Australian National Under-19 Emus and for the Australian Boomers at the 2009 FIBA Oceania Championship, all before he had even played college basketball. At just 19, he was the youngest Australian at the tournament. He would from here transition to college, where he followed the footsteps of Paddy Mills again, joining the St. Mary Gales. Delhi hit the ground running at St. Mary, starting all 34 games in his freshman year in college, averaging 12.1 points, 3.5 rebounds and 4.5 assists per game. Matthew led the Gales to winning the regular season title and the tournament championship for the first time in the school's history. He'd also be named the West Coast Conference MVP. It's never been done in program history to win the regular season title outright and then to win the tournament championship. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good. Like we just uh, we've worked so hard for it, and uh, it's a great bunch of guys, great coaches, and uh, it's no better feeling right now. The Gales would win 28 games this year, reaching the Sweet 16 of the 2012 NCAA tournament. Delhi provided clutch free throws in their upset victory over Villanova, as well as becoming a well-recognised player in the D1 college scene. We saw gradual improvement through Delhi's tenure in college, with increases in points and assist averages, which was honoured with him winning the 2011 and 12 West Coast Conference Player of the Year award. An award won in the past by legends like Steve Nash, Doug Christie and John Stockton. Delhi's greatest moment in a Gales uniform, though, would have to be this. Guarded by Holt. Tyler Hawes! 2.5 on the clock. Della Vadova for the win! Gales win it! One of the more clutch college shots I've ever seen, with the shot being named the Della Dagger. Matthew was honoured as an academic All-American and a senior class award finalist given to athletes that excel academically in college, with Della Vadova graduating with a degree in psychology. He finished his college career at St. Mary's as the all-time leader in scoring, assists, games played, free throw percentage and three-point shots made. His jersey would be retired by St. Mary's as Della Vadova went down in St. Mary's folklore. Outside of all the accolades though, was a respect for Delhi's game. A born leader who fought and hustled for every ball, this may have been his best attribute as it would play a big role in his career in the future. Now before we get into Delhi's NBA playoff heroics, let's transition into an ad from our friends at Manscaped. It's holiday season and that means there are stockings to be stuffed and elves to be cuffed. Well today's sponsor Manscaped has gone global with the tools to guarantee you will score under the tree and the mistletoe. Manscaped is the leader in men's below the waist grooming and they have served more than 4 million men worldwide. If my math's correct, that means almost 8 million balls. Get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with the code ALPHAKAI. My go-to present for this Christmas has to be the Performance Package 4.0, which should be at the top of every man's wish list this year. Inside you'll find the Lawnmower Body Trimmer, the best trimmer on the market for your balls, butt and body, and the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. Purchase the Manscaped Performance Package now and you'll receive two free gifts, the Manscaped Boxes and the Shed Travel Pack. 
the entire Manscape range has been excellent for me so far. Uh, the, the entire range is quality, and um, so far I've been really happy with it all. Um, I wouldn't recommend any products to you guys that I didn't actually believe in. And of course, it's a great time to get it with 20% off and free shipping right now at manscaped.com with code AlphaKai, so you can be the ballsiest gift giver this year with Manscaped. Now back into the video. Matthew's journey into the NBA wasn't particularly smooth, with many analysts predicting his college success would not transition into the pros. There would be many questions about his lack of athleticism, ability to finish around the rim, and even his on-ball defense. The 2013 draft ranking board shows 78 players considered better than the Aussie, with Delhi not even featured on this list. Many draft experts believed, at best, Matthew Sealing was a top quality player in one of the leagues in Europe, but many doubted his NBA potential. Matthew would watch when his 60 names were announced in the 2013 NBA draft, with none of them being his. Not all hope was lost though, as Della Vadova joined the Cleveland Cavaliers for the 2013 Summer League and preseason, which he impressed in. His stats weren't remarkable, but the Cavaliers were in need of a backup point guard who could run the offense, which they believed Delhi could provide. Delhi wasn't just satisfied with making NBA roster though and warming the bench, as he progressed his way through the depth chart into the rotation. His 21.6 assist performance topped off his rookie season as Matthew cemented his name onto the Cleveland roster. The 2015 season could be considered Delhi's breakout year. Della Vadova would represent Team World in the Rising Stars Challenge at the 2015 NBA All-Star Weekend and became key to the Cavs' second unit as he played behind Kyrie Irving. It was not until the 2015 NBA playoffs where we would see Delhi's star really shine. The Cleveland Cavaliers were significantly depleted by injuries throughout the 2015 NBA playoffs. Injuries to both Kyrie and Kevin Love had put the side in a tough spot, but this meant more opportunities for role players like Della Vadova. To say Delhi stepped up would be an understatement. As you can see here, his role became more and more prominent throughout the playoffs, and for good reason. Delhi's Bulldog defensive mentality transitioned well into the more physical playoffs, as he was used to harass opponents' team star players. Particular highlights from his outstanding 2015 NBA playoffs would have to be his Game 6 performance in the Eastern Conference semi-finals to close out the Chicago Bulls. Delhi would have the game of his life, dropping in 19 points on excellent efficiency with a plus-minus of 21 as he contained Derrick Rose. Trying to wrap up this series on the road, much like they did in the first round. Della Vadova puts it in! Matt Della Vadova once again! And it's a 20-point lead! He had become crucial to the Cavaliers, starting throughout the Eastern Conference Finals as Kyrie battled through injury, playing significant minutes and consistently contributing. It was in the 2015 NBA Finals where Matthew Della Vadova became a household name. After a Game 1 loss to the Warriors in overtime where Kyrie Irving would this time suffer a serious knee injury, Matthew was called upon to start. He would go head to head with reigning MVP in the NBA, Stephen Curry, and brought that same intense mentality on defense in hopes to stop the greatest shooter ever. He fought over every screen and kept in contact with the body of Stephen Curry for the entirety of Game 2. His constant pressure bothered Curry as Stephen shot 0 for 8 whilst guarded by Delhi and made a total of 5 for 23 field goals. Delhi forced the greatest shooter ever to miss the most three pointers in a single game in NBA Finals history. Remember, this is a guy that was described by NBA draft experts to struggle in the defensive end throughout college and high school and went under every team's radar being undrafted. In fact, Delhi's defense had been excellent throughout the 2015 playoffs, minimizing the production of both Derrick Rose and Jeff Teague in the previous rounds. To top it all off, Delhi would ice the game with two clutch free throws to win game two, after again out hustling everyone to the floor. And with 10.1 remaining. Clutch free throws from Matthew Della Vadova. With 13 point guards taken ahead of him in the 2013 NBA draft, Matthew was the one thriving as he gained the plaudits of even LeBron who said, Curry's poor shooting had everything to do with Delhi. He had just kept a body on Steph, he made Steph work, he was spectacular man defensively, we need everything from him. Delhi was who everyone looked for motivation as he brought hustle and effort every night. He had gone from undrafted and barely on a roster to a key reason to why the Cavs would win game two, with Delhi being lauded as a Steph stopper. Delhi would continue his heroic run into game three, this time contributing primarily on the offensive end. This would have to be the biggest performance in Della Vadova's career so far, as a combination of threes and flip shots were too much for the Warriors to handle. Come on, James has got to get aggressive here. Della Vadova, and one! Count it, and a foul as Matthew Della Vadova knocked down, banks it in! There was our guy, our Aussie, absolutely ripping it up on a world stage. He was second in scoring behind LeBron and helped his team get the 2-1 lead in the NBA Finals 
with Mike Breen labelling Matthew Delladova as one of the most improbable NBA Finals stars in the sport's history. The whole of Australia was behind him as he showed that determination that many of us expect from our athletes. Unfortunately, that continued intense effort meant Delhi was hospitalised for dehydration and exhaustion after Game 3. It was clear for the rest of the NBA Finals series Delhi was spent with the Warriors winning the next three games in the 2015 NBA Finals. Golden State's triumph, though, doesn't take away from the spectacular rise of Matthew Delvedova through his performances, which will go down in Australian basketball history. Matthew will continue his success in the following 2015-16 season. He provided solid playmaking off the bench behind Kyrie Irving and was essential to the production of Cleveland's second unit. It was Delhi's best regular season statistically, averaging 7.5 points, 4.4 assists and 2.1 rebounds per game, along with a 41% shooting percentage from behind the arc. Delhi's role in the playoffs was limited compared to the previous year, but this time he would walk out as a sixth ever Australian NBA champion. A remarkable achievement as LeBron, Kyrie and Love resurrected a series that looked dead and buried at 3-1 down. To top it all off the following offseason, Matthew would sign a rich four-year $38 million deal with the Milwaukee Bucks, which almost vindicated his hard work up until that point. Delhi would enjoy two seasons at the Bucks before returning back to his beloved Cleveland. The rest of his career was solid but would prematurely end due to an injury-plagued 2020-21 season, which included bouts of concussion, whiplash, an emergency removal of his appendix and a neck strain. During this period, Delhi would be part of one of the greatest accomplishments in Australian basketball history. And after 65 years of blood, sweat and plenty of tears, the Australian men's basketball team's crusade to stand on the Olympic podium has finally delivered. The Boomers have claimed the bronze medal as they defeat Slovenia here by 14 points. It added the cherry on top to his illustrious career as the Australians won the bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympics. He has now returned back to the NBA with Melbourne United with hopes to return back to the NBA. No matter what happens from here on out for Delhi, it won't change the fact that he will go down as an Australian basketball great whose determined and gritty play captivated fans across the globe. And that is all for this video. As always, a big thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed. We are heading on our way to 10k subscribers, so let's try and get there by the end of January. That's my goal. If you want to watch more alpha videos, click the videos on the screen now, and I'll see you guys next time.